Hey there, and welcome back. Today I want to take a look at one of the my most favorite things to do on the classic Macintosh, and that was the After Dark screensavers. This is After Dark 2.0. There was an earlier version. I believe it was only black and white. This one here is in color. I've switched to my Quadra 950 today in order to run this. I am running this under System 7.6, so I hope that this works. Um, so I've actually not tried this. There we go, there's my hot corner right there. So this one is the stars. You got a city skyline down there. The meteors zipping by. They're pretty fast on this Quadra. I think this was made to run under System 5 or System 6, so on this Quadra things are going to be going pretty quickly. Let's check out a few more of these. Actually, I'm going to go through all of them, I think, because well, I haven't seen them in a long time, and they're pretty neat. Okay. After Dark became a very big thing. Uh, I think they made a lot of money on screensavers, and it was the thing to have. You went into the office and you wanted to see who had the coolest screensaver in the office. Here's the bouncing ball. Some of them got pretty elaborate later on, but this is the original After Dark screensavers. Here's a can of worms. Oh yeah, the worms eat your screen. I forgot about that. That's pretty neat. I kind of miss screensavers. You don't really get fun ones like this anymore. Wonder how I have my sound set to. Do I need to Turn that up a little. Oops. Okay, that is up all the way. Clock. There were several different clocks we could choose from. Let's see what the antique looks like. Okay. Confetti factory. Oh yeah. I remember that. Eventually the confetti would make it all the way down there. Surprise none of it is falling on any of my conveyor belts yet. There we go. Duck. Um, ducks, okay. Guess every 30 seconds it changes? I'm not sure. Okay, doodles. This is bringing back a lot of memories here. Oh yeah. See, this stuff is pretty cool. Especially to think that you could do this back then. Almost looks like my computer is broken now. Okay, fade away. That's fun. Fish. Uh, I think this is... Fish and Flying Toaster is probably their two favorite... the uh, two most iconic from After Dark. Fish was probably my favorite. Oh yeah, look at how quick they go. How quick they were going on this machine. Not sure why the sea floor is not matching up down there. Now it's going pretty smooth. This machine can probably handle. I'm actually going to lower the speed to normal. There we go. Get rid of that sea floor. What other options can we do? Okay, looks like we can actually change the fish, but I don't want to do that. Actually, let's turn our sound up. Okay. Let's see if the Quadra 950 can handle this many fish. Oh, 
Looks like it's just fine. It looks pretty crazy though. I don't think I would have that many fish for my screensaver. Again, I really wish I, I miss these screensavers. Love to have fish. Okay, flying toasters. Is just flying toasters. When I think of after dark, it's the flying toasters and the fish that I think about. This is pretty fun, especially as a kid, you can pick these different shapes and see how they bounce differently. I imagine that is really creating 3D calculations there. Globe. I think I remember in later versions of After Dark that they had just a stunning image of Earth in there. Rathstat. Okay. I'm actually not sure what's going on here. Edit labels. Turn the delay down so we can see more of them. I guess I could see this being used in science fiction movies in the background. Gravity. Oh, yeah. Hard rain. Oh, okay. That's kind of a fun one. Life 2. Are we going to mix? Okay, yep. I remember games based on this when I was a kid. I, or at least simulations that you could set up. I'll have to see if I can find some of those uh, to play. Don't even know how to pronounce this. Okay, logo. Is that just that? Okay, Berkeley Systems, I think, made the After Dark screensavers. I think this is running much faster than you normally would have seen this because this is the most powerful. Um, early Macintosh, the Quadra 950. I think if I was running this on my LC2, we would not be seeing this fill in this quickly. So it's kind of neat because you might leave this for hours and hours waiting for one of these images to fill in. Alright, we're growing some grass. Messages. Oh yeah, yep. You can put some messages for your coworkers up on your computer. See if it picks up speed. I'm kind of there. It goes. Kind of surprised it takes so long to buffer some of these, especially on this machine. Oh, there's a lot of them here. Modern art. I should set the delay down on some of these. Mountains. Oh yeah. It's pretty neat the power that these computers had back then. Uh, yeah. I forgot about this guy. Mr. Moen Man. Multi module. Oh, looks like it crashed my computer. I'll be right back.
Okay, I am back. Last time I had selected multi-module. Um, yeah, not sure what this did, but it did crash the computer, so we're not going to try that one. Let's go on to night lines. Alright. Nocturnes. This stuff is kind of fun, and I remember as a kid, you might hear weird noises coming from the other room, and uh, it's someone's screensaver. Someone in the office had left their speakers on, or you had a computer sitting in one room of your house, and you would hear crickets like this. It was actually the screensaver. X player. Oh, that's neat. Can I change that? Uh, that's interesting. I'm not quite sure how that even works. Okay, picture frame. Okay, looks like you can pick your own picture. Punch out. Uh, okay, it's taking punches out of my screen there. Of different shapes. Again, some of these Take a little while to get going. Puzzle. Imagine that's going to make a puzzle out of my screen. Rain. With privacy concerns, probably not a whole lot of screensavers would actually keep pieces of your screen up and uh, distort it like that. You would want to hide everything that you're doing so you're probably not going to see screensavers like this anymore rainstorm of course they like to turn your monitor off for saving energy now I remember this one this one I think I like this one because I do like thunderstorms and uh, kinda nice to have one going randomizer let's see Okay, so here you get to pick a bunch of these screensavers and it will choose a different one every time your computer goes to sleep. Ripple? Oh yeah. I I loved watching this one as a kid. That was just not very detailed. I thought that I remembered drip droppiness. Let's turn this up. Maybe I have to give it a little bit of time, but I thought there was more resolution to this, but maybe not. Maybe it's the, maybe in later after darks is what I'm thinking about, but yeah, I can remember being kind of blown away by this screensaver when I first saw this, when, when this had come out. And of course, moving from a black and white computer or grayscale computer to a color computer, showing this would be pretty spectacular. Everyone would want to come over and see all the colors that your computer is making. Oh yeah. Another beautiful screensaver. Maybe it's the resolution that I have my screen set to right now. Um, am I supposed to hit something? Not sure. Okay. Shapes. Yep. Slideshow. Alright. Snake. So I guess he's trying to make his way through this maze to go from the green area to the red area. My computer is just going to do trial and error to try to get there. Not sure if it has a memory so that it won't ever try to repeat the same thing twice. I think it probably does. 
does look like it never tries the same thing again. Spheres? Spiral. Spotlight. Yep. Stained glass. Okay, that's kind of fun. It's either buffering again or it's taxing this. Yep, this computer can definitely handle this. Don't actually remember this one too much. Maybe the computer that I had then was uh, not powerful enough to really run this like this. Starry Skyline. Okay, I think we've already seen that one. String Art. All right. String Theory. Each one of these is a plugin. You can put more screensavers in your After Dark Files folder. Add and remove these. It's a long time. There it goes. Between the supernovas there. That's kind of beautiful. Terraform. Okay. Tunnel. That's pretty trippy. Vertigo. Some of these screensavers like this one I don't think have stood up to the test of time, but some of these are still great. That's pretty fun. And Zot. Oh yeah, that's neat. And I assume that all these are random. The computer is randomly generating this lightning every time. Alright, that's it. This is After Dark 2.0 running on my Macintosh Quadra 950. And if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.